Hello there ladies and gents. Now let's have a look at this. Wow. Wow. Regardless of what you think of the game, that is quite an intimidating box. It's the kind of box most other collector's editions wish they could be. So let's have a look, see what it's like. And yes, I have pre-opened it, because otherwise I might cut myself. Ooh, let's have a look. Oh, back of the box is in... couple of languages, a couple of screenshots from the game, looks like that's all the characters and a bit of information on what's in the collector's edition. So let's have a look. Okay, first thing we have is a giant poster. See if I can unravel this up. Wow, this is huge. Yeah, this is a bit too big to get on camera. Um, it's of a character. There we go. Let's put that over there. And here we have the art book. Okay, I'll do what I tend to do when I get art books in these videos. I'll give you a good look through, but this looks like one of the biggest art books I've ever seen, so it might take me... I might just have to cut, skip through some bits of it, but I'll give you a good look at it. Some characters. I'm not quite familiar with the Tekken series, I've played a couple of games before um, on the original PlayStation and one on the PlayStation 2, but in terms of who they are I only recognise a few of them. Um, the art book looks really well done, it's really nice glossy pages, it feels really, you know, it. it's not a hardback but it really didn't need to be. It feels really durable, feels really strong. Armor oh, King. Rawr. Yeah, I might skip through some of these now. Kangaroo. Never understood why they included a kangaroo. No, I've never in understood why they've included this guy. I I always kind of thought he'd be the ghost of Mr. Miyagi. And ah, now this, this is something I really liked. They added a little character history to, mo to most of the main characters. They show you how they've developed through the different Tekken games. I thought this was a really good addition. It just kind of shows you how they've aged and how the development's changed ever so slightly. And sometimes you can't really tell, it's just like a subtle difference, like there might be an extra wrinkle or something. Now this is one as well that I've always noticed, but I didn't really realise they'd done it deliberately. Is with the character Paul, they seem to age him in every single game. Nina Williams. Uh, King. I think King was my favourite character from Tekken 2. Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu is the kind of character you think is going to be so cool and then you play him the first time and you're just rubbish. Or at least I know I was. Design sketches. Oh, now this is what I like. I love it when they include the... I call these like the making of. Where it shows you how they came to the final designs. Like I say, I'm going to skip through because I don't want to spend half the video on this. Yeah. Now this is an interesting one. Um, I've not yet played the game so I don't know for sure but there's like a... I can't really tell if it's if it's written from the perspective of someone 
as if they were a character from the game or um, if it's like a real history that the developers have tried to do but it, it kind of shows you the development and how they came to making this giant thing Tekken 6 art book back cover and that was the front cover I'm going to be speeding through this because there's quite a lot in here to show and now we have the the hooded fleece You know what, I'm going to put this to his side because I think there's a better way to display this, so I'll come back to this one. Now this is the manual. Now I was wondering why was this separate, surely it should be in the game box. I got a quick flick through, it's all in colour, big thumbs up, and the manual's in multiple languages. And I thought that was a bit curious, and then in this secret compartment, I don't know if you can make it out in there, is the game. And I discovered why. The game, interestingly, is a multi-region one. If you have a look, you can see there's the there's the UK logo on it as well. I think that one's Australian. I don't know which one that one is. I think it might be Germany, but that one I can't say for certain. And the back of the box as well. No information well, no there's information like the, the standard stuff but you know there's no screenshots no no oh, this is taking the iron tournament tournament back up and running now buy it now buy me now damn you <laughs> nothing like that so yeah um inside the box there's some character art there's the disc there behind the disc is um a big explosion so i'm just going to briefly pause the video cuz i think there's a better way to display the fleece so I'll be back in a moment. So, I said I'd try and find a better way to show off the fleece, just so you get an idea as to what it's like. Um, all this is what comes with the giant European Collector's Edition box. Um, but yeah, I found as a model, well, I found a model to show us what the fleece looks like. And here he is! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's badass Kung Fu E.T. So, as we can see, there's a tiny logo here, Tekken 6. That's all it says, just Tekken 6, don't know if you can work that out. Two pockets on the front. Um, the fleece feels really well made. Can't, can't fault it at the moment. I have had a look at it, not just on ET, but yeah, it looks really good. Um, the hood, very important, ET likes to keep his head warm. So, if we just spin E.T. round, and don't worry, this is your humane method to turn around an E.T. Oh yeah. Your, if your E.T. wears this, he'll be the baddest E.T. on the block. Nobody's going to mess with him. Uh, I don't know what that symbol means. Um, I guess it might mean Tekken, it might mean King of Iron Fist tournament. I really couldn't say. But I'm sure somebody out there knows, and if they feel inclined to... Feel free to put it in the comments at the bottom as to what it means. So yeah. Thank you for helping us out, E.T. You're welcome, he says. If he could talk. So, yeah, that's the collector's edition. I hope E.T.'s not going to fall over. So yeah, hope you liked it. If you liked it and you like my stuff, subscribe, um, rate, do whatever you want. If you didn't like it, you're still watching. So, yeah, thanks very much. Bye-bye.